Greetings to all you beautiful people. Joey Diaz here. Welcome to my flavors world. It's a beautiful day to be alive here in California. It really fucking is. I usually get up really early. I do a little writing, you know. I uh, either drive my wife to the train or whatever. This morning, I didn't get a late start. I woke up at fucking 7.15. And I didn't go to yoga. I'm gonna go tonight with my wife. I like taking a walk around my neighborhood just to see what's cracking. But I just don't, I tell people all the time, I just don't have animals at the house. I have animals all around the fucking neighborhood. But the uh, animals that really got me were these little cats that live over here. His name is Biggie. Where's Biggie? Where's B -B -B Biggie? Where's Biggie? I haven't seen him in days. Where's my baby? And this guy here is my buddy. When I first moved up to this neighborhood about a year and a half ago, where's my baby? He had a partner in crime, a girl, but then she got sick and they took her in and somebody adopted her, and he's all that's left. That's my biggie right there. Biggie, come on the shade, Papa. Hi. Hi, biggie. Come here, baby. This is my boy, see? I'm like Dr. fucking Doodle. See, people? It's nice. This guy gives me a nice little greeting in the morning. I play with him. His name is Big. Come here, baby. Come here, Biggie. Come on. Come on, baby. This guy's a special little cat. Say hello, Biggie. Look at that face. Biggie. 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 That face. He's one of my neighborhood soldiers. This guy would be there for me no matter what. Look at him. He's a cute little boy. He lives out here. He lives in front of his house. They feed him. I give him some treats from time to time. He used to be the neighborhood tough guy. But he got neutered. And now he's fucking gentle Jim. I think he's a street cat, right? His instincts are completely different from the ones that live in my house. But he still reacts to love, you know, and it's how you pet him, how you touch him, you know. He's acquired a trust with me. Cats are a weird fucking animal. A lot of people don't dig cats. I think it's because they're insecurities. They can't control them in a way, you know. Dogs come right over to you. Cats live on their own fucking terms, and that's what I respect, because in a way, that's the way I fucking live. Who am I to judge these little motherfuckers? But this guy's all right. This, is a, this guy's a really good guy. He's a good guy. Say hello, Papa. Hey, hello, Papa. Joey Diaz here. Mad motherfucking flavors world. Tonight I'm at the YMCA. Check it out. Hey, right behind me. Got the punching bag. You got the stand up fucking dummy that don't go over five foot two. And you got the fucking kicking post and a couple bikes. The whole thing goes down in there. But out here is where I come. Because half the time I come here, I'm fucking blitzed. I don't want nobody to see me. You know what I'm saying? It's the easiest way to fucking work out if you're a fat dude. Smoking them, you forget what the fuck you're doing. You walk out of here looking like fucking Iron Man, you know what I'm saying? You can't even move. But this is it, this is the big deal. I could join Crunch, one of those fucking gyms, and wear my little tight shorts and talk to people. Who the fuck wants to do that? I come in here, I smoke, I'm three fucking numbers deep. The last thing I want to do is there's some guy asking me fucking questions. I got the iPod on, I got, you know, Zeppelin, whatever the fuck I listen to. But anyway, this is the YMCA where it all goes down. I'm here for yoga. But I really can't do yoga with the camera because I'm focused on the camera. I really gotta be focused on my breathing, the whole patois, to get the fucking chakras. But this is where it goes down. Yoga is over with my girl Madison. It was a tremendous class. My shirt's all sweaty and shit like that. But now we gotta make way. Cause the Zumba people are coming in here, you know what I'm saying? That's when it gets ugly in this. Where's these Zumba people? Thirty dollars. They come in here. They jump up and down. They sell fucking tacos. They do it all. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yoga was tremendous today. Look at my giant shirt. It's all whacked up. I'm ready to rock here. My girl Madison with the white, blue. That's my yoga teacher. Mad flavor world. Stay black. Mad flavor here. Mad flavors world. We're in flight to Milwaukee. We got my main man here. Look at this fucking sexy savage. Right here with some sodas, why not wait? Look at my eyeballs. That cookie said it, it's all over, but they're shouting now. You put Visine in my eyes, they just sizzle like the exorcist when they threw the water on it, you know what I'm saying? Smoking. Thank you, sir.
Yes, I can. Sure. Mad Flavor World coming at you, brother. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. What's your name? My name's Adam. Adam's the man of steel. What do they call you? Pyro. Pyro? I used to wrestle professionally. They call him Pyro, dog. You used to wrestle professionally for what? An organization? Florida Championship Wrestling, Coastal Championship Wrestling. Why'd they call you United Pyro? Federation? There's no money in the independent level. No, why'd they call you Pyro? Oh. They said to mix part of your real life into your character. And you're and in the fire? Succeed. Well, when I was a kid, I was kind of a little bit of a pyro. Oh. See what I'm saying? And then and they're searching people with sandals on, but this guy's a pyro, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. Isn't it nice to be on Mad Flavor World? This is what you bump in to see. Kind, kindred souls, as they say. Greetings, you filthy animals. Joey D is here. I got the robe on, it finally fits. For years, I got a robe in the room, but it never fucking fit. What good is it? Now I'm sitting here like, look, like Ben Gazzara and fucking Capone, you know what I'm saying? But I'm in Milwaukee. Check out the view there, I got the thing. I got my little potato chips, I got my TV there, I got my briefcase in case I got a split. I got the little shower there, but most important, I'm with you little free, filthy animals, you know what I'm saying? Joey D is here, Wisconsin, tomorrow night the Paps Theater, Sunday the fight's gonna be beautiful, all right? Thank you for being part of my world, it's your world now, cocksuckers, stay black. Coming to the stage, one of the baddest fucking comics working today, the USC, the fucking podcast, my brother, Mr. Joe Rogan! You're all on Mad Flavor World. Joey D is here representing Mad Flavor World in motherfucking Wisconsin. In fucking Milwaukee. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. German and angry. That's Mad Flavor World. You motherfuckers better tune in. This is how we do it. Where's the reefer, bitches? I'm in New York. Still at the airport. Take a look at these fucking animals here. It's like the ugly parade here. I just put on the camera too late. You should have seen the crew that fucking came by. I had like some chick that looked like she died and came back to life. Some guy with a Boston fucking Red Sox hat on. If the Boston Red Sox seen this guy, they'd fucking pick up and move and go to Bulgaria. Look at Ari's uncle. Look at Ari's uncle. Fucking amazing. This is a spot here. You want to see some fucking freaks? Come to LAX, bitches. It was a great weekend. I'd like to thank all you people who are coming out to the Paps Theater. Somebody gave me some hash candies. I was whacked till like 3 in the morning. I love you guys. Thank you for walking. You are tremendous. Stay black.